Hello, you all. Welcome back to Let's Deal With It. Well, praise the Lord from whom all blessings flow. Everything that is good comes down from the Father of lights. Do you guys hear me? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, you all, I'm nearly 99.9, 99%. Just a little sniffle and um, still soreness in the chest from all the mucus and coughing and is something else, you all. It 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 is. Uh, this thing is vicious. That's all I'ma say. I have spoken on it enough. Those who have wisdom have wisdom. Those who don't, they don't. Anyway, I wanted to come on briefly, and I'll be back. Re, uh, I should say, fulfilling a request that Sister Erica asked me quite some time ago. And I do apologize, Sister Erica, for taking this long to get to it. But praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Eyes getting to it. We are going to do when the Bible says the be attitudes. Amen. There are several of the scriptures I do quote from time to time about blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. That is one of my favorite be attitudes. Do you all hear me? Sometimes you got to say you wrong and God knows you're not just to keep peace. Or sometimes you just got to leave folks alone. Pray for them and leave them alone, especially when they're determined to live in sin. Amen, you all. Yes, it's the truth, saints. It is. And when I read these Proverbs to you, you're going to know. You're going you to see why I be the way I be. You're getting ready to see it. So let us uh, pray for our children right now. And pray for this time of um, admonishment in the word. Because you all, if we resist and refuse to be admonished and rebuked, we are bastards. We are not sons of the Most High Yahweh. Amen. Amen. Still a little weak from not eating very much and um, just being sick over seven days. Never in my life have I ever, never, ever been sick for uh, over three to four days, never. So this thing is with a vengeance, but let me tell you something. Greater is he that lives on the inside of us than he that is of this world, the God of this world. You better believe it. Now, without Jesus, we are nothing. And apart from him, we can do nothing. Amen, saints. Amen. So I got to go and fellowship with my son, and um, a beautiful sister, the sister that I've been visiting her place of um, worship. I think, like I said, I think I go just to be with her. The Bible does says where two or more gather in his name. He is there in the midst. Amen. So it's wonderful to, for my baby boy, my uh, youngest son to be sitting next to me, worshiping the Lord and opening up our our word and he needs to start taking his bible because he got one i bought him a beautiful bible and also being with a, a a like spirit amen there's nothing like it in the world nothing like it in the world <clears throat> better than any dress any material thing you could ever purchase did you all hear me mm -hmm. so anyway heavenly father we just want to thank you for your infallible pure word able to sanctify our souls, able to change us, Lord, to make us more like your Holy Son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Father, I ask that you would, by the power and the grace of your Holy Spirit, convince those who are straddling the fence, those who have one foot in the kingdom of darkness and think they got one foot in the kingdom of God and that no. They're, they're deluding themselves is what they're doing. But Lord, I pray that they would be greatly convicted by your Holy Spirit, that they would not resist the chastisement and the rebuke of your Holy Spirit, but that they would humble themselves under the mighty hand of the almighty Yahweh and repent and live a repentful lifestyle, not a sinful lifestyle, 
but a repentive lifestyle until your trumpet blows. Oh Lord, we just want to come lifting up our children. We know, Lord, what the Bible says, that you can save the chiefest of sinners. Yes, you can, and yes, you have. So we just come lifting up our older children, really all of our children, lifting up our siblings, our our fathers, our mothers, our grandmothers, our grandfathers, Lord. We just come lifting up our nephews and nieces, lifting up those who have brought into the doctrine of demons straight from the bowels of hell. Oh, yes. Paul talks about that very, very clearly when we give heed to seducing spirits. Lord, have mercy. Following the blind, leading the blind. Lord, have mercy. They both fall into a pit and that pit is hell. So, Father, we just come lifting up our children Thanking you for the authority, Jesus, that we have because of your holiness, your righteousness, and your holy word, and your holy blood. That we have the right to plead the holy, precious blood of Jesus over our children. We have the spiritual authority to bind and loose them from the holds of chains of addictions of all kind. Whether it be homosexuality, bisexuality, drugs, sex. Uh, pornographic things, porn, a lion spirit, a gossiping spirit, spirits of self-hatred. We come against every demonic entity of de demons, demon voices telling them to take their lives. Father, we ask that you would shut the mouths of every demon, every demonic entity, every demonic influence that have come against our children. In the authority of Jesus' name, we bind their lives. We loose the spirit of our prayers, the truth of our prayers through your word. Hallelujah. And we thank you that this is a spiritual thing, that your word travels out and it does not return void, but it accomplishes that which we send it out to accomplish. And we thank you, Lord, if they don't find the truth on this side of the rapture, which is before that trumpet blow, Surely the prayers we have prayed will meet them on the other side it called the tribulation. Oh, yes, Father, it will. And we thank you for victory over the enemy of our children's souls. We thank you, Lord, that your word, your word is life. It's living, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing and dividing from the soul to the spirit spirit to the bone marrow, Father God. It is a discerner of the heart and the mind, the soul and the spirit, our, our total complete package. Nothing is hid from you. You are light, Jesus, which is truth. Truth is light and light is truth. Darkness is sin and sin is darkness. And we ask, Lord, that the light of Jesus, the truth, would pierce all the dark lies of the wicked one the lawless ones in their life because Satan's just not the only lawless ones. His demonic imps and his fallen angels are wreaking havoc in folks' lives. And this is why we are determined to stand in the gap. <clears throat> Hallelujah for their souls, for their very healing, deliverance, and salvation. We thank you, Lord, if they don't have the wherewithal to humble themselves in this last hour, that our prayers will meet them, Father, in the very near future, because the rapture is up next. You could come now. You could come in two weeks. You could come in a month. Excuse me. You could come on that total solar eclipse. That is straight Xing America out because of her bloody hands. Oh, yes, because of her idolatry. Oh, yeah, it's a wrap for this country, really for all the nations. And your word said, the person that forgets God shall be turned into hell. And the nations that forget God shall be turned into hell. So, Father, we know what time, what temperature it is in the spirit and what time it is in the spirit. We on go time. We in the last hour. Oh, yes, we are. But, Lord, you're so good. You have given us what I've always said, a slither of time to repent 
to seek your forgiveness, your purging and your cleansing of our conscience from all dead works. That's what we in. We are in the time to redeem the time, to go out into the highways and the byways and compel them to come on in. Yes, Lord Jesus, for you are the way, the truth, and eternal life. No man can come unto the Father but by you. There is no other name that's been given unto man than the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, whereby we may be saved. Mm -mm, no other name. So we thank you, Lord. We praise you. and We give you all the glory and all the honor for breaking the chains of bondage off of our children's souls, off of their wills, off of their hearts, off of their very minds. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for doing the work that only you can do. We don't have no power outside of the power of Jesus Christ. We have no righteousness in the ability to live holy and a sanctified life outside of the Holy One, Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus, you are our righteousness. You are the one who have justified us and we don't want our grace to be in vain. The grace of God through Jesus Christ, through the working anointing power of the Holy Spirit to be in vain in our lives. And that's the scripture. I read it. I done read it several times and I'm going to read it again. Because people seem to think that they can just depend on the grace alone and not do the work of righteousness. It's sad. It's, it's mind blowing. It's, it's my, because Paul did say, should we continue thereby in sin? He said, God forbid. Oh, no, no, no. Grace came to give us power over sin, death, hell, and the grave. That's what grace is for, to give us the power to defeat temptation and sin, not a license to sin. That is not what hyper grace is for. That's another doctrine of demons, Lord. And that's why folks thinking they's ready to go and they're going to be most devastated. The carnal, lukewarm, habitual Christian Habitual sinning Christian is about to be blown away, is about to be blown away. Jesus didn't go through that horrendous, horrific, terrifying crucifixion for us to thereby live in sin. Ain't no way. Why would Jesus say, be holy for I am holy? Why would you say in everyone who have this hope purifies themselves? You are the purifier, but we got to bring our filthiness to you in order to be purified. Hallelujah. So, Lord Jesus, we thank you that we don't need to break down any longer. We need to break through in prayer and in worship and praise the word and in fasting for the souls of our loved ones. Amen, Jesus. Amen. And so I thank you. I thank you, Lord. This is it. This is it. This is all. It's over. It's done. It's finished. It's a wrap. If one don't make it in, in this, I mean, slither of time, they, they're they going to find themselves where they chose to find themselves left behind. <clears throat> yes, Lord. So we thank you. We plead the precious holy blood over our children from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. We thank you, Lord, that we assign to our children every day guardian angels to look over them and they're rising and they're lying down and they're going and they're coming. Put a fiery wall of protection around them until they come to their right minds, the mind of God in Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> And we will forever praise you, give you all the glory and all the honor. We will give it to you. And Lord, I pray for every precious child of the Most High Yahweh that is struggling, that has an honest struggle, whether it be marijuana. Some people say, now, how can a Christian be smoking marijuana? True enough. But some people have have bought into that they need it because of serious uh, spirits, because that's what it is. It's an unclean spirit who has convict you, um, not convict, that's what we want you to be, is convicted, who have convinced you that anxiety is stronger than the love, mercy, grace, and power, the delivering power of the almighty God, who you say is the lover of your soul, your Lord and your savior. It is not. God can deliver us from anything we are uh, uh, addictively dependent upon, 
rather him. You hear me, beloved saints. So Lord, I pray for every true child of God that has an honest uh, struggle, rather it be marijuana, rather it be cigarette, nic nicotine, rather it be wine. You got some of your children that drink till they feel not drunk, but a nice inebriation of tipsiness. That's not of God, saints. It's not. That's an unclean spirit. So, Lord, I pray that they would be strengthened. And the only way they can be strengthened is, is to open up the bread of life, to open up the word of God, which is water, which is bread, which is milk, which is meat. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's the only way we're going to be sanctified and that these strongholds will be broken off. Now, Lord, you can deliver us just like that. But can I tell you, if we don't, if we don't protect our deliverance, guess what? We will be like a dog returning back to our vomit. And the and, and our first state <clears throat> will be worse. Because when we turn return to our vomit like dogs, seven greater demons come. You hear me, beloved saints? Ain't no once saved, always saved. You hear me? It's called the fear of God. You shouldn't touch fire because it'll burn you the hell up. Yes, I said it because hell is going to be placed in fire. Do you all hear me? Our sins will lead us to that burning place for eternity. I don't care how much you go to church. I don't care if you can talk in 10 tongues. I don't care if you can buck your head like a dog on bull. That's not going to cut it. So Heavenly Father, I pray for your blessed children to truly come clean, to cry out to you for healing and deliverance. And we want to thank you for a complete healing of our sister Gina's body from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, Master. Do this, Heavenly Father, to show the people our God is not dead. Oh, no. Uh, never been. Always been. Ain't got a mama nor a daddy. You are. I am that I am. The beginning and the end. The Alpha and Omega. You knew the beginning from the end. Yes, Lord. You, you know it all. You are all knowing. Hallelujah. And so we pray that what is rightfully our sisters, Erica, it be released. It be released in the authority of Jesus Christ's holy name. Yeshua HaMashiach is his holy name. Amen. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for troubling the minds, the, the mind of the oppressors to release what belongs to your daughter. In the name of Jesus, we lift up Sister Monica and we thank you, Lord, that she will be like a child as if her son comes and say, Mama, I'm afraid. I'm scared. And you look your son in the eye and say, baby, mama is right here. Well, that's what Abba Father is to us. He takes away all spirits of fear that brings anxiety on us. See, that's, that's, that's not of God. That's a demon spirit. Fear is not of emotion. It is a demon spirit. Those are spirits. And it brings on the emotion of anxiety. The devil is a liar, sister. And I thank you, Lord, that she will fall back into your arms as if a mother or a daddy say, Elizabeth, fall back. Daddy's going to catch you. Jennifer, fall back. Mama got you. Lord, if you, done, if you done died for us to miss hell, if you done got crucified for our sins to be forever forgotten, thrown into the sea of forgetfulness, what is you doing a healing, a deliverance, a blessing for us? Absolutely nothing. Jesus, you did the most profound thing you could have ever done for us. Died for our sins and got up out that grave for our victory, our total victory. Oh, yes. So I thank you, Lord. I thank you for moving in Sister Juliet's life. Bless her. Bless her above and beyond what she could hope, ask, or imagine. Bless her because she's been a blessing to so many, including myself. Oh, yes. I can't even tell, but the Lord know, and she asked me not to tell. So I thank you, Father, for blessing my sister. I thank you for doing it for her because she did it for me and so many others. You did say what we sow, we going to reap. Bless my sister Juliet and bless all my true sisters and brothers in Christ. Yes, Lord, I want to thank you for delivering and healing 
in saving Sister Sandy's daughter, Cassie. Father, arrest her with your love. Allow our children who are older, who may have never been validated by a father or a mother, never celebrated their life. Oh, my Lord. Father, let them feel your tangible presence. Do that for our children, even if they had a good mama or a good daddy or both and found themselves swallowed up by the lust and the, the, the Danishes of this crooked, evil, corrupt world. Rather it be in the entertainment in industry. Rather it be some that done went into the sex uh, uh, industry. Yes, Lord, so many of our children have sat at the table of demons. Oh, they believe the lies of Satan. But Lord, we wanna thank you, the word we put in them. And even if we didn't raise them right, Father, us being born again now and live in sanctified, holy, righteous life. Give us authority in the spirit realm. And we arrest these spirits, these unclean devils in our children's lives. And we ask you, Master, if you would so graciously, because you are gracious, you're so long suffering, full of compassion and mercy and grace, Allow them to experience the presence of the almighty God. One, that they would know your love, your presence is realer than anything they've ever gone through. Two, that they would get the fear of God quickly and call on you. Amen. Yes, Lord Jesus. And we will forever praise you. We've, we are already praising and worshiping you. We are in spite of, Lord in spite of the deep pain and hurt, yet and still, we gonna praise you because you're worthy. And I thank you, Lord. Excuse me, saints. Jesus. Oh, Father, we just thank you because we know when we cry out to you, not in fear, but in faith and trust and hope, Yes, Lord, you will answer us. Yes, you said there will come a time when the reaper will overtake the sower. And I believe that this is this hour. You said it, Lord. You said it. And I know you're doing it even now. You've been working. But we are going to see the manifestations of your promises with the salvation of our children and even in different areas of our life. Uh, Yes, God, we're going to see it because you're not a man that you should lie, nor a man that you have any sin, any shadows of turning in thee. No, Lord, you are perfect, righteous, and holy in all your ways. Yes, you are. So we just thank you for the victory over all strongholds, over ourselves and over our children. We thank you, Father, and we praise you and we give you all the glory and all the honor because it belongs to you and you alone. So we thank you. We rejoice, Lord. You said love rejoices in the truth and not in iniquity. We pray for those who have gone the way of Baal. Oh, yes, so many leaders. Prayer venture, should you allow them to repent and find forgiveness? We pray for uh Lord, we already know one of the biggest leaders have gone the way of Baal, and he's not by himself. There's so many that's about to be exposed. And we just pray that they would have the wherewithal to say I'm guilty. And that can cause so many to come clean themselves with their dirty, filthy secrets. Oh, yes, as there's a heap of them. And they in their churches. So, Lord, we pray for leaders who have counseled people to do such things against their own soul, their bodies and spirits. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord, they've counseled your people. Yes, Lord, in a diabolical way. So we pray for those who have taken part in this diabolical lie that put a third strand in a body. Oh, yes, it did. Wiping out the name of Yahweh. 
Oh, Father, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you're able to do it. That's why you done tarried a little bit longer. You, you are beyond good. You're too good. We don't deserve it. But Lord, we thank and praise you for your mercy. Excuse me. And your long suffering with all of our tales. Every last one of us is the truth. And so I thank you, Lord. I thank you that your children will begin to be bold as lions, as the Lion of Judah, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, because you're not going to come back as a lamb uh, when you come back to put your feet on the Mount of Olives. You're going to be the Lion of Judah, tearing up all kind of darkness and wickedness, wickedness, tearing it up and burning it up. So, Lord, we thank you that we're going to be riding on horses right behind you. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, we... Ooh I know I said I didn't want to come back with you with that, but I might change my mind, Lord. <laughs> I may. I don't know. I just love them children, and so many have been, I've been pre prematurely taken from, taken from me. I don't know, but Lord, you know what's best. <sighs> Boy, I'm telling you, this mucus is is is. I ain't never seen nothing like it. But I thank you for my healing. I thank you for healing for Sister Lottie. My goodness, my Lord, heal her, Father. Have mercy upon her. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. My sister Kim, even sick. So many, Lord. Yeah, we know what this is. Us saints, we know exactly what this is. Mm hmm Starts with the V. Yeah, okay. Coming from the spiky Pokemans. Yeah, that's what it is. Womp, womp. One, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, F, G. Yes, Father, we know what's going down. So many are blind and ignorant and have not, a, they are oblivious. They have not a clue the sudden destruction that's about to hit their tail. And they're going to be without excuse. They chose to be ignorant. It's not that folks don't know the truth. They don't want the truth. So there's nothing left but the lie. And that is Hasatan. You better believe it. When you reject the truth, you reject in Jesus. He is the truth, the way and eternal life. Oh, yes. So, Lord, we thank you. We praise you. And we give you all the glory and all the honor. Because it simply belongs to you and only you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. So you all, I, I briefly want to give you some wisdom in many areas out of the book of Proverbs. It's so loaded. It's so loaded. If you ever want to be comforted for your faith to increase just like that, read Psalms. And when you need wisdom and discernment, you will get comfort and wisdom from the entire counsel of God's word. But there are specific books that will give you specific things just like that. The book of Proverbs ain't nothing to play with. You're going to understand why I will immediately delete people. I will not argue with you. I will not debate nothing with you from a spirit of strife. Not me. Oh, no. Ain't going to be able to do it. Mm -mm. So turn in your Bible to the book of Proverbs. And we're going to start. And it's, it's so loaded. You don't even know where to start sometime. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, you all. We're going to start. Look at Holy Spirit, you're awesome. <laughs> you're going to see why I pray the way I pray. I pray the Bible. When you really learn to pray, you're going to be praying the Bible, the scripture. Proverbs 28, verse 1. The wicked flee when no one pursues them. But the righteous like lions didn't i say like we would be the like the lion of judah jesus christ didn't i just pray that 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 type of boldness would come upon us against sin and evil and wickedness but the righteous like lions feel sure of themselves 
And so when people want to try to say, oh, she's the one that's arrogant and proud. You're lying, you're lying, you never lied so much. This that you see is boldness. You don't know nothing about it, but you do know the boldness of sinning, habitually sinning, because it takes boldness to sin and not give a darn. Okay, let's go on. I don't have time for the likes of you. Nope, I'm done. Okay. Help me, Lord. This is something. Did you all hear that? But the righteous, like lions, feel sure of themselves. Because it's not in ourselves. It's in the one who lives and dwells within us. And that is Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, his Holy Ghost. Okay? Okay. Those who abandon Torah praise the wicked. Have you ever been swallowed? Have you ever been swallowed up? This is who the likes you guys run after and follow. Blind guides. Wolves in sheep clothing. That's all they are. Raving wolves pussing with all divers of lust and perversion. Those who abandon Torah praise the wicked. You wonder why y'all can still stay with him? That's because you're wicked. Birds of a feather do flock together. But those who keep Torah, fight them. The Bible do say expose the works of darkness. And you got folks come out. Don't judge me. Well, I am. I am. I'm going to judge your fruit. And you talking about Jesus is your Lord and your Savior. He ain't the Lord of your soul, spirit, mind, and body. The devil is because you're doing dark works of sin. How are you walking with the light and living in darkness? No wonder that Bible say few find it. The path that leads to eternal life, few find it. Ain't going to be no heap of souls going up. Not like it should be. Okay. Wow. Look at this. Evil people. This is, listen, y'all. You, I'm giving you wisdom straight out the Bible. The holy book. Evil people don't understand justice. But those who seek Adonai understand. I'm going to show you where Cat Williams got this from. Everything. 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 I was going to read it to you again. But those who seek Adonai understand everything. 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 We're going to pray for Cat to come on in for real, for real. Better to be, watch this, here Here go you prosperity gospel people. Here you go, as that baby would say, y'all don't know how hurt my heart is. Some of you do. Little baby would say, here you go, three years old. I, I miss that child so much. She brought me so much joy. That's okay. That's okay. Better to be poor and live an honest life than to be crooked in one's way through rich. No, not through though rich, though rich. Have you ever been swallowed? Kenneth Copeland, Joyce Myers, Creflo Dalla, Paula White, Juanita Bynum, and Jesse Duplantis. I was going to read it for you again. I want to talk about Jesus. No, let me get my right hand. I want to talk about Jesus. You guys going to learn the way here. And who is the way? Jesus. The truth and eternal life. Better to be poor and live an honest life than to be crooked in one's ways, though rich. There you go, you prosperity, gospel-believing fools. God wants you healthy, wealthy, and happy. Oh, okay. 
And of course, the Lord don't want us poor, you all, but he's trying to make a point in the condition of your heart, mind, and soul, and spirit, your very character. You guys following devils. You don't even have the Holy Spirit. Unbelievable. If a person will not listen to Torah, even his prayers is an abomination. Holy Spirit, I love you. I praise you, Holy Spirit. I, I was going to read that a couple of times, more times. If a person will not listen to Torah, even his prayer is an abomination. And you got people, they swear God hear their prayer and they just the living sinful lives. Okay. But see, when they get left behind, they going to know the Lord wasn't hearing their prayers. Everything going to be so clear, crystal clear. Read it again. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If a person will not listen to Torah, even their prayer is an abomination. Here you go. Here, here go you folks who's following swallowed up. I, here you go. Whoever causes the honest to pursue evil ways will himself fall into his own pit. You guys think I'm playing when I pray like that? I'm praying the word. Will himself fall into his own pit. But the pure hearted will inherit good. He said, read it again. Whoever causes the honest to pursue evil ways. Have you ever, have you ever been swallowed up? Will himself fall into his own pit? Where is pits at? In hell. But the pure hearted will inherit good. The Bible did say, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. You see how that word is in me? You're not going to be able to fool me. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. The rich man is wise in his own view. You remember when he said, I'm not in any trouble. And even if I did do something wrong, all I would have to do is repent. Wow. But he said, I'm not in any trouble. Talking about split tongue, ten-faced, double-minded. The man is not even saved. None of them are. Not one of them. You know what? Thank you. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you. You know what they need to do? Let me tell you who they need to follow. Example, in the earth. Help me remember his name, Jimmy Swagner. The man was busted with hoes and, and, and the man was just swallowed up, but he came clean. You know who he followed? King David. When the just are triumph, there is great rejoicing. When the just are when the just are triumph, there is great rejoicing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, read that one above it again. We in Proverbs 28, verse 11. And I'm reading out my Hebrew Bible because it reads so plain, so plain. Verse 11, this is, the rich person is wise in their own view, but the poor who has discernment goes through him. I'm sorry. Back it up. Lord, you, Jesus. Okay. Help me, Lord. Where was I? Cause I, Ooh, that's a whole nother one. That's powerful. Is verse 10. 
Whosoever causes the honest to pursue evil ways will himself fall into his own pit. But the pure in hearted, the pure hearted, the pure hearted will inherit good. Now look at 11. The rich man is wise in his own view. Have you ever? But the rich man is wise in his own view. Why need a binding? Mm -hmm. Why need a binding? Yes. But the pure who has discernment sees through them. And you wonder why I pray the way I pray? Don't wonder. You just need to read your Bible so you can pray the same and live the same. This is something. When the just are triumph, when the just are triumph, there is great re rejoicing. But when the wicked rise up, people hide. Lord Jesus. Now, now, now. Listen to this very careful, you heathenistic, lukewarm, uh, carnal Christians. But when the wicked rise up, people hide. That's what y'all going to be trying to do, run and hide. But peekaboo, God see you. You're not going to be able to run and hide. Ain't going to be no hiding places. You should have hided it, hide it. You should have hid yourself in the secret place of the most high. That's where we ought to be hiding every day in this Bible. Worship and praise. Fasting and going about doing good. That's where you ought to hide yourself in the cleft of the rock. Don't play with me. The Bible said hide yourself in the cleft of the rock. Do you know who the rock is? Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Holy Son of Yahweh. That's why he going to say he never knew y'all. He don't know your voice. He don't see himself in you all. How can Jesus see himself in a vessel that loves sin? Oh my. Okay, go on. He who conceals. Here it is. Oh my. Holy Spirit. The person who conceals his sins will not succeed. I will get real close. It says he who, but it's the person. I, I don't know why it masculinizes every, ma makes it masculine, but that's okay. The person who conceals their sins will not succeed. And But you can just keep sinning, huh? Okay. He who confesses and abandons them will gain mercy. He said, read it two more times. The persons who conceal their sins will not succeed. Those who confess and abandon them will gain mercy. Let's wait in the water. Let's wait in this water. The persons who conceals their sins will not succeed. When saved, always saved, though. But those who confesses, those who confess, confesses, and abandon them will gain mercy. I'm going to read it one more time for full for Jesus, the dough. The persons who conceals their sins will not succeed. But those who confesses and abandon them will gain mercy. Wow. Wow. Just it's 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 unreal. It's sad. It really is. Whosoever, see, that's what it should say, whosoever, like this one said, whosoever lives blamelessly will be saved. 
so you can live a sinful life and be blameless? Oh, wow. <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. Wow. But he who weighs our crooked will fall in one. You hear that? But he who whose ways are crooked will fall in one of those ways. Do you see that? Do you see that? Have you ever, have you ever been swallowed up? We all have if we're honest. Let me make that very clear. But in this hour, on the spiritual clock, ain't no way. He did say he's coming for a bride without spot or wrinkle. We have to repent every day. Every day. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get this wisdom. Wow. A trustworthy person. The key word is trustworthy. Person will receive many blessings. But one rushing to get rid. Ooh, Holy Spirit. This is what my son ran into. And I'm going to make sure the next letter I write him, oh, I'm going to spell many things out for his soul. Let me put some infants on this one. But one, and I know I got his name here. Yep, I got it right there. Thomas. Thomas. I said worldly music. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? That's all our babies out here wanting to be rappers. Wow. Oh, Lord. But the one rushing to get rich will not go unpunished. Do you see this, you all? That's why the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. Oh, my goodness. I'll make sure I send that to Thomas. And here you go, you religious leaders who have, who attempted to hinder and stifle folks. Keep them in your control knowing that they got the goods through the Holy Spirit. Let me show y'all who y'all are. To show partiality is not good. You're going to ordain people who gossip more quicker than water can come out of faucet, full of jealousy, full of envy and strife. I was called to preach. I was called to teach. Yeah, okay, and every last one that you ordained that the Lord didn't call, I don't know what y'all pastors and preachers and apostles think, because I done said it many times. You all are going to be held at a high level of accountability for doing such things that you've done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of you wasn't even called. And shame, double woe on those who were called and went astray after Baal. Y'all is in so much trouble. There is, you guys' hearts are Cain's heart. You got the heart of Cain, and guess who else? Saul. Bunch of Cain's and Saul's in these pulpits. I mean, yeah, pulpits. I thought I said pits. Yeah. Up in these sacred places. You're in a heap of trouble. You're in a heap of trouble. Look at this. To show partiality is not good. Though a person may do wrong for a crust of bread. My goodness. He who is greedy rushes after riches. So y'all just keep listening to your pastors and your bishops and your preachers and apostles talking about money, money, money. That's all. They don't ever talk about holiness, 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 righteousness, righteousness, sanctification. 
always talking about that money. They're wolves. They're greedy wolves. And they're bastards. They're no children of the Most High Holy God. He who is greedy rushes after riches, not knowing that want will overtake him. Have you ever? Have you ever been swallowed up? Creflo Dollar, Jesse Duplantis, Juanita Bynum sent a thousand and ninety nine dollars for to learn how to pray. Go on, Marsha. Not knowing, not knowing that want will overtake him, not need want. Not your need, your their wants. But they think they're going to heaven and you all going right with them. The Bible said blind guides leading the blind. They both fall into a ditch. Clouds with no water, dogs with no bark. Salt that lost its saltiness. Nothing good for it but to be trampled and walked all over on the ground. And you wonder why I don't have a lot of subscribers. I don't care. <laughs> no. I think it's mighty funny. People will give a million views about a boy who was worshiping the devil and won't give a million views to watch how to learn about Jesus and how to pray and want to pray. But they'll watch sensational things. The Lord is clocking everything. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Get a million views for somebody listening how to get the devil out of them. And to live a righteous, holy, sanctified life. How about getting a million, million views on that? Oh, yes. I say it's time to pray for our children. 58 views. Charles Stanley know he was right. A little bit of prayer, a little bit of power. A lot of prayer, a lot of power. And most of you can't pray no way because you, you ain't nothing but devils. Living devilish, sinful lives. I said it. Mm, 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 mm. This is something. This is something, boy. This is something. A grasping disposition stirs up strife. I, I, I'm not in any trouble. Oh, he's in a trouble that he'll never be able to get out of unless he repent. A grasping. You see how the word, that's what he was doing. He was grasping. Do you, do you get that? A grasping disposition stirs up strife. Oh, that's what he was doing. And the latest thing when he said the devil is mad. I said, oh my, he blaming this on the devil. That's not the devil. That's all you, mister. Have you ever been swallowed up? We want to blame everything on the devil. Just, just like Flip, Flip Wilson, the devil made me do it. No, mm -mm. no, no. But he who trusts in Adonai will prosper. He who trusts in himself is a fool. You guys are following fools. Yes, yes, you are. But he who lives by wisdom will escape. You see why I'm reading this to you? You, you know this is the Holy Spirit that led me to read these, right? Absolutely. But he who lives by the wisdom, by wisdom will escape. He who trusts in himself is a fool. 
The person that trusts in themselves is a fool. But those who live by wisdom will escape. You see this? Those who give to the poor will never, those, excuse me, those who give to the poor will lack nothing. Interesting. But those who hide his eyes will get cursed in plenty. Oh, read it. That's the tribulation. You know, those of you who love in word and not in deeds won't help those who are less fortunate, struggling, need a little help. That's okay, because the Lord is my help. <laughs> Still in this house. To God be all the glory, honor, and praise. Not even earning livable wages. But ain't the Lord doing it? Yes, Jesus. Won't he do it, Sister Erica? He doing it, because it show sure ain't me. That's why he getting all the glory, honor, praise, and worship. I was going to read that again. The person that trusts in themselves, themselves is a fool. But he who lives by wisdom will escape. He who gives to the poor will lack nothing. But he who hides his eyes will give. Let me read that again. But he who hides his eyes will get cursed in plenty. Ain't going to be no more of a cursed time than that tribulation and that great tribulation. The Bible said there's never been a time like it, nor will there ever be. So all of you who gloat in your in, in the way these pastors and preachers and apostles flaunt what they have. And there's people who can't pay their light bill, but they tithe in your church. You give them the third degree when they say they need a little help. You all, I don't know how you stay following leadership like that. Not me. Okay. But he who hides. His eyes will get cursed. No, it says will get curses. It's plural. Let me read that again. It's so small, the printing. Let me help myself. I don't care who laugh at me. He who gives the he who gives to the poor will lack nothing. But he who hides his eyes will get curses in plenty. Uh-huh. When the wicked rise up, people hide. But when they perish, the righteous flourish. Ain't that something? I, I say, ain't that something? Watch this. Here you go. Let me show you why I don't bother with strifers. I'm not going to do it. He who remains stiff-necked after much rebuke will be suddenly and incurably broken. You wonder why? I'm not going to be able to do it. Listen, he who, the person who remains stiff necked, that means rebellious. After much rebuke, no, I don't have to be rebuked. Once I'm saved, I'm always saved. I'm sealed. I'm sealed and ready to go. Okay. The person who remains stiff necked after much rebuke will be suddenly, sudden destruction. I will mock you. I will mock you in your calamity. Will be suddenly and incurably broken. Incurably means you can't be helped. You can't be cured. Did you hear that? Look at how many times it states this. We're in, we're in chapter 29 now. When the righteous flourish, the people rejoice. But when the wicked are in power, the people groan. If that's not the day we end, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Wow. Whoever loves wisdom brings joy to his father. And who is supposed to be our father? Abba, through Jesus Christ, by way of the Holy Spirit. 
but a patron of prostitutes. I'm going to send this to my son too. Waste his wealth. Wow. And you got women setting up brothers out here for their gold and their money. But they go running after them. Okay. Their bed leads to the gates of hell, young men. Do you hear me? You keep on wanting these attention whores on these medias, social media platforms. Keep on. Keep on. Wow. In an evil person's crime is a trap, but the righteous sing and rejoice. The righteous understand the cause of the poor, but the wicked is unconcerned. That's why all these people who are in authority in these businesses, I don't care whether it be the, the courthouse to the schoolhouse to, to, to uh, retail businesses and they're suppressing people and not giving them livable wages, they themselves are cursed with two woes. And that's that tri great tribulation. They finna go. And if they don't repent, they really going to be damp, be cursed in hell. So for all of you out there oppressing people and not doing people right, my goodness, you not the re, the person you're really hurting is yourself. You think you hurting folks like me, but how can you hurt somebody that's dead and on their way to heaven? You can't hurt nobody like that. But you to educate it. Oh my goodness. People don't know they the walking dead. And I don't mean dead to sin. They are alive in sin and dead to God eternally. And you know where them folks is going. Hell's fire. Ain't that something? And you keep on not forgiving your ex-husband. Keep on for not forgiving your mama and your daddy, your sister and your brother. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And you say, but you don't know what they did. You looking and listening to somebody who know about some betrayal from their mama and their daddy. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other family members. But guess what I know? God said, if you don't forgive those who sin against you, neither can I forgive you of your sins. Try that on for size. Ain't that something? Okay, let's go on. It's not worth it. Scoffers can inflame a city, but the wise can calm the fury. Ain't that something? And that's what's getting ready to go down, but there won't be no uh, uh, wise in the time of the tribulation. No they they trying their best to cause us C I V I L C I V I L W A R R W A W A R C I V I L W A R. It's about to go down. I'm not gonna be here to see it. Oh, it is. Yeah, I'm following this thing with T R U M P. This man was dropping so many f bombs, but he was he was making true statements, and he said mess around and find out. But he didn't say mess around. He said the f bomb. You all don't know the things that are brewing. You have no idea sudden destruction can happen any 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 moment, but not before we take our ride up on them clouds and meet Jesus in them clouds. Oh, not before that. And the dead in Christ going to rise first. Then we going to meet them in the air. And so shall we forevermore be with the Lord. And so shall we be like him. <laughs> Celestial. Unbelievable. She's just as a false prophet. I don't know what her issue is. But she got some serious issues lying on God. Saying God told her that us Christians are deluded, that we, we're deceived and we have this, 
Oh my, I'm not even wasting no more time. Here we go, here you go, here you go. When a wise man, when a wise person argues with a foolish one, he meets, he meets anger and ridicule without relief. I'm going on. I'm not even going to repeat that. You can read it for yourself. A fool gives vent to all their feelings, but the wise thinking of afterwards stills themselves. Did you hear that? You can read it again for yourself. Here's where we're living in. Watch this. And especially in the brick and mortar system, religious system. If a, if a ruler listens to lies, all his officials will be wicked. I am going to repeat that one. If a ruler listens to lies, all his officials will be wicked. That's why there ain't no accountability up in the brick and mortar. Everybody liars. Everybody corrupted. Everybody wicked. And that's everywhere else, too, from the courthouse to the police house to the schoolhouses to the everywhere is nothing but liars and corruption. Ain't that something? It's hard to find good leadership today. I love Proverbs and I got it lit up. Let me, let me see you guys going to know I'm not, this is my Proverbs. This how I got it lit up. I got it lit up. And folks wonder why I don't fool with them. I'm not fooling with no fools. It says if you want, if you want to be more wise, you hang around the wise. Have you ever been swallowed? Have you ever been so? And folks just want to get next to them, just want to meet them. I just got to go to the house. Okay, you better go to the potter, the potterer. Got to be kidding me, man. Here you go. Here you go for you guys to say she's mean. She's too hard. Better open rebuke than hidden love. Ain't that something? Better open rebuke than hidden love. Hoo-wee. The clever sees trouble coming and hide. We're clever. We know we need to hide in the cleft of the rock, dwell in the secret place, abide under the shadow of the Almighty because trouble is coming. So we is uh, in his pavilion. We about to be taken up to that bad boy. <laughs> the righteous, I'm sorry, the clever sees, sees trouble coming and hide. Ain't that good? Just You guys read the book of Proverbs. The thoughtless, let me show you what you guys are who follow uh, Mr. Have You Ever Been Swallowed Up. The thoughtless go on and pay the penalty. The clever see trouble coming and hide. The thoughtless go on and pay the penalty. You all that's following these false prophets and bishops and apostles and pastors and evangelists and teachers. 
y'all finna pay the penalty. And it's called the tribulation. Mm-hmm. Let me show you what I done tried to do. But you don't have to receive it. Of course not. Just as iron sharpens iron, a person sharpens the character of his friend. See that? Okay. Many folks gonna wish they they my phone it don't even ring sometime once a day. Ain't that powerful? Sometime not once a day. But when I go up, 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 and away with Jesus, everybody, everybody left behind that got my number. They're going to call it. <laughs> they got done already show me it. And they're going to say, we should have listened to the spirit of God in that girl. Here we go. Here we go. The crucible tests silver and the furnace tests gold. Do you hear this? Y'all better get in that crucible. You better stop jumping out that pot of adversity when it's, when it's God testing your heart to make you stronger in him. Do you know our tests don't come to destroy us? Not when, I'm not talking about when you in sin. I'm talking about when you're living for God and afflictions and trials and tribulations just keep hitting you. It's just to make you stronger in your walk with the Lord and to show his power and glory even more. Yes. And bottom line, your sufferings come for you to reign. Because only, only those who suffered for him, for his name's sake, his character, his word, going to reign with him. So you tell me how you can live an habitual life of sinning and reign with Jesus. No, no, no. Y'all not even going up. Let alone reigning, ruling and reigning. You, you know what you're supposed to be doing? Overcoming your sin. Not being overcome by it. That makes no sense. <sighs> Y'all don't hear teaching like this. And God knows you don't hear preaching nor teaching like this. Of course not. Okay. The crucible tests silver. And then I tell you God is coming for his silver and gold. That's who Jesus is coming for. The overcomers. His bride, his remnant, the few. The crucible tests silver. And the furnace tests gold. But a person is tested by this reaction to praise. And you know who forgot about that? I know I'm finna tell it, Holy Spirit. When Mr. Biggie Fake started out, I'll never forget this, never. He said, I'm not gonna be bothered, or he said, I'm not gonna be moved by neither. Those who criticize me, nor those who praise me. He forgot. And you know what will cause you to forget? The principles and the statutes and the laws of the Torah? The praise of man and money. Flattery. Oh, yes. You start believing your own fan mail. Forgetting that you're nothing. None of us are nothing. None of us are nothing. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. And without me, you are nothing. I was going to read that again. But a person is tested by his reaction to praise. And when people say, Sister Marsha, you've been a blessing to me. Sister, you helped me to get back in, in right standing with God. I say to God, be all the glory, honor, and praise. And I thank you. 
not thank me. I'm thanking you for recognizing him in me, being used of his Holy Spirit. We're nothing. We're nothing. Jesus said, why well, call me good? If Jesus said that to this person who said, good teacher, good rabbi. First of all, he was trying to flatter him. Mm -hmm. See, you can't fool Jesus. And he said, there is none good but my father. He passed all the tests. See how people can't pass the tests of praise. Most can't. And let me tell you, money have corrupted billions of souls. Especially in the brick and mortar religious system. They all done failed them two tests. Horribly, miserably. Some of them already in hell. Like Carlton Pearson. You're not going to tell me that man ain't in hell. No, you're not going to tell me that. And you definitely not going to tell me Eddie Long is not in hell too. I don't know who is worse. Ain't that something? Wow. I think this is where we're going to stop. Yeah. But I'm going to end on this again. Those who abandon Torah praise the wicked. And you wonder why. Oh, Holy Spirit. That's why they got mega churches. Ooh. -wee. That's why they be mega. Because all of them people have abandoned the, the way that leads to eternal life. The road of righteousness. They've abandoned Torah. And they cleave to the wicked. You know who, let me book it again for you. They got itching ears and they heap up teachers that tell them what they want to hear. That's why it's so mega. They mega, mega devilish, mega sin. Pussing with sin in the mega churches. That why. I never, that was the Holy Spirit. Did you, he'll download it to you. Those who abandon Torah praise the wicked, but those who keep Torah fight them. That's why they make the churches. Oh, we. That's why they're deceived, the, the leaders, because they think they got so many people following them. God's got to be with them. What a lie, what a lie, what a lie. One third of the angels follow Lucifer straight on down, evicted out of heaven. <laughs> that ain't nothing. I love you all and I'll be back. With the beatitude, Sister Erica, you're the second person that asked me to do it. And I ask for your forgiveness, sister, for taking too long to get to it. Pray for me, my sisters. Keep me lifted up. I love you all so much. We are about to be neighbors on Hallelujah Boulevard. Yeah, we, oh, I know that's the street I'm living on. I don't know about nobody else, but I'm living on Hallelujah Boulevard. And I got some sisters that want to be my neighbor. I may ain't got no good neighbors down here. Now, I got a couple of good sisters here, and I thank God for them. I don't want to say their name because folks hate when people like me and love me. Did you guys? Oh, yeah. He, he, the Lord showed me that. <laughs> good God Almighty. That's okay, though. That's all right. Yes. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have out-of-this-world neighbors. He's going to have tea parties, dressing in beautiful, splendid gowns and dresses. Oh, yes. All our hair going to be long and just glorious. Yeah, it is. And we're going, to be, we're going to be doing powerful things when we come back down here. I'm going to be a judge. I know for a fact, because I hate injustice. I'm going to be a judge. And I will be a designer. I'm going to own a restaurant. I will say the name, but I'm not going to get out of the way. <laughs> Just like the brother said, he's going to have a bakery up in heaven. 
I'm going to have me all of that. Yes, I am. Yep, yep. And I'm going to have one of the most amazing institutions for children to learn about Jesus. <laughs> I want to talk about Jesus. Hallelujah. I love you all. Let's keep on pressing towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Because ain't much further to press and ain't much further to go. It ain't one, it ain't but one more good push, saints. Do you hear me? This thing is over, baby. I love you all. I'll be back with the uh, blessed are the pure in heart, the be attitudes. Be attitude, that's the attitude we be and need to have. <laughs> You guys, you gotta laugh. It says laughter does the heart good like a medicine. Amen. I love you all. God bless you.